Welcome to another Method Man Productions episode. Today we're going to learn how to solve equations for y, meaning having y all by itself. I'm going to start off by making a t-chart and labeling my left side y, because that's where the variable is. First step is to get rid of the 4x by subtracting a 4x to both sides. Since the 10 and the negative 4x are not like terms, just put it aside and start a new line. 4x minus 4x, those cancel out. The 2y drops down equals the 10 we didn't touch, that drops down, and so does the negative 4x. Since the 2 is next to a y, that's multiplication. To undo it, divide 2 to both sides. On the right, you have to divide each term by 2 in order for that to work. The 2 cancels out, the y drops down, and calculate 10 divided by 2, that's just 5. Negative 4x divided by 2 is just negative 2x. y is all by itself, so our equation is solved. This problem's a little different, for example, 2, but we're still solving for y. This time, y is on my right side, so I'm going to label the right side with the letter y. The first and easiest term to get rid of is this 2x. Do that by subtracting 2x to both sides. Once again, on the left, you can't subtract the 2x from the 4, so just put it aside. Start dropping things down. The negative 2x, that drops down. The 4, we didn't touch. It's positive. That also drops down. 2x minus 2x, that cancels out. I'm left with a negative 1 third y on the right side. Here's a little trick for you. If you want to rewrite a negative 1 third y into an easier way, you can put all the variables on the numerator by putting it like 1y over 3. You also have a choice to put the negative on the top or bottom. Be easier to put it on the bottom on this case. See why this will be useful. Let's get of this negative 3 by multiplying by negative 3 to both sides. And since those are two terms, you have to put them in parentheses. Hmm, what do I do? Ding, 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 distributive property, negative 3 times negative 2x, that's 6x, negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. On the right, the negative 3's cancel out, I'm left with y equals 6x minus 12. Example 3, solve for y. For this last question, I would like you to try it out on your own. Please pause the video, and when you have finished trying out the problem, unpause the video and check your answer. Here is the answer from the previous slide. y equals negative 4x minus 2. My first step that I did was distribute. Negative 2 times 4x is negative 8x. Negative 2 times y is negative 2y. Second step is to get rid of the 8x by adding them to both sides. Since 8x is not like terms with the 4, I just put it aside and I drop both down. 8x plus 4 equals negative 2y. That also dropped down. Final step is to divide both sides by negative 2, as you see right here. Remember to divide both terms on the left side by negative 2. In the end, after you calculate it, you get your answer right here. Hopefully this was of help, and you'll be solving for y pretty soon once you start graphing linear equations. Before I end the video and for your support, please subscribe to Math and Man 20 for more math lessons.